Government officials in Flint, Michigan could face manslaughter charges. Yes, indeed, America is true with whom the blame for poisoning the water and the subsequent outbreak of legions of, di of diseases in Flint, Michigan um, is still to be determined. But there is a special counsel that has been appointed by the Attorney General of Michigan that said there was gross negligence in the handling of the Flint water crisis. And let me tell you folks, it's about goddamn time that somebody goes to jail for what they've done to the people of Flint, Michigan. Now, they're still trying to figure out who it will be that will be who might face these manslaughter charges. But this is what we know so far. Last week, EPA's acting water chief, Joel Bunevé, if that's how you pronounce his name, told Congress that Michigan, under the leadership of Governor Schneider, a Republican, has ignored federal advice to treat Flint's water for erosive elements, which are believed to have eroded out old lead pipes and contaminated the water. State officials shot back, however, claiming that the EPA did not act urgently enough either. It does not matter who acted and who didn't act. What matters is that the people of Flint, the Flint were poisoned by a man-made crisis because of a lack of leadership and I would argue an indifference to people who live in poor African-American communities by this Republican governor and his state-appointed emergency manager. Now, the, the irony here, America, the irony is this, is that after this emergency manager poisoned the people of Flint and lied about it, this governor then put him in charge of Detroit public schools. And as we now know, the Detroit public school system is falling apart so horribly that Ellen DeGeneres had to write the school system a check to replace the roof at Spain Middle Elementary School, former school of Diana Ross. So the guy who poisoned the people in Flint is now managing the lives for the children in Detroit. This is what you call the definition of adding insult to injury. What Governor Schneider is trying to do, because there's no other way around it. I mean, listen, I'm telling you, y'all, where there's smoke, there's fire. He is trying to kill and poison the people of Michigan. Nope. I take that back. He's trying to kill and, f and poison the people that voted against him in Michigan. Numbers don't lie. Look at the precincts where Governor Schneider lost. Detroit, Flint, place where he did not win. Big L's for the governor. And he's like, well, oh, I'm just going to regret the, ignore the people. And I'm going to allow their water to get poisoned. Now kids are dying, right? And it's still America. To add insult to all of this, both in Detroit and in Flint, in Flint they're still sending you water bills. Like, which is when I read the story about this. So in Flint, Michigan, after all those people have been through, after kids having to go through years and years and years of, medic of medication and years and years of treatment for diseases that could have been prevented, the Flint water system is now charging you for poisoning you. It's like we poisoned you and now, guess what? We're gonna charge your ass. It's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. I would argue, America, I would argue what we're witnessing in Michigan is almost as bad, as almost as bad as what we saw in the era before the Civil War, where African Americans were beaded and treated like slaves. And I know people are like, oh, Richard, you're pulling the race card. What other card can you pull when a governor at, when they decide they're gonna not, oh, we, it's a hundred bucks. It was a hundred dollars a day would have saved these people. A hundred bucks a day would have saved the people of Flint, Michigan. And the governor and his emergency manager were like, oh, we're trying to cut costs. So we're gonna use polluted water that even, the, all, even corporations wouldn't use. We're gonna, uh, we're, we're gonna, put, we're gonna, we're gonna use this dirty water we're going to make these people drink it and take baths with it, right? They're gonna, we're going to poison their children. And then after we poison their children because we don't care, we're going to say, oh, well, it's not our fault. We didn't do anything wrong. And then we're going to charge you for it. Oh, and when that's done, we're going to take the same guy who did that and move him so they could, he could poison the kids of Detroit. America, I got to tell you, this is almost unbelievable. It's heartbreaking that in 
America, the richest country on earth, that we're dealing with third world problems in Michigan. You know, here's the thing. Here, here's the thing. And this is part of the problem. Because if we're really trying to make America great again, like Donald Trump says and Republicans say, then every single candidate should be talking about making sure a situation like Flint doesn't happen again in a poor part of this country. And guess what? They're not, because they don't give a damn.